Yes, I'm uh, focused on brachytherapy and cervical cancer. And recently there is increasing literature on the use of MRI for treatment planning uh, of cervical cancer brachytherapy. But the problem is that um, MRI is not that available, especially in countries um, where there's a high incidence of cervical cancer. So there are uh, alternatives needed. And um, ultrasound, transrectal ultrasound, might be an option. And in our study, we compared MRI to transrectal ultrasound for treatment planning in uh, cervical cancer brachytherapy. We were looking at the comparison of the treatment volume, of the HRCTV volume, we call this. And what we found is that the transrectal ultrasound actually is very, very similar in terms of dimensions of this volume to the MRI findings. So transrectal ultrasound seems to be an interesting alternative to MRI, especially if MRI is not that, to that extent available. We also looked at CT because CT is also a potential alternative. However, CT was, as already shown by others, overestimating this volume. So this means that you could eventually treat your patients more precisely with the use of transrectal ultrasound in comparison to CT and simulate somehow what you find with MRI. Well, Estro is always a, a great place to come to because uh, all the experts, European experts, but also worldwide experts, are coming to these events, to see, in the meantime, yearly events. And um, there has been a great sessions already. There were great head and neck debates, great debates on carbon ion radiotherapy, on particle therapy. So there is a lot of interesting um, sessions ongoing. Brachytherapy is al always uh, an interesting uh, topic, especially for myself. And there were great uh, topics uh, presented so far.